Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So, can you tell me your uh, technical skill set? Yeah, so I basically work on uh, Java version 8 and uh, I have some experience in uh, Spring, Spring Boot and I've also worked in uh, uh, Hibernate. So that's my overall uh, technical stack and I have experience close to uh, two years. Okay. Uh, can you tell me a few features of Java 8? Yeah, so there are uh, multiple features in Java 8, but the most prominent feature is uh, Lambda expression, uh, functional interface, and uh, date API. So these are a few features of uh, Java 8. Streams. Okay. Okay. So tell. Uh, let me tell you the requirement. Uh, so currently we are having a project uh, which is using JDK 7 and we are going to upgrade it to JDK 8. Okay. So the requirement is you have to write some programs. I'm going to ask you to to three programs and you have to write the code using java 8 features because uh, we are moving to upgrade uh, jdk 7 to jdk 8 okay so i have provided you a list of numbers can you see it in chat box yeah so and I... what you have to do mm -hmm. you have to find the square of all the numbers which are there in the list okay all right make sure you are going to use a java 8 yeah, perfect. Uh, so let me uh, create a new class uh, before I copy uh, the input. So this uh, class I'm going to name as uh, program2. And this is going to have a main method, which is starting point of my application. And I'm going to create a list of integer as uh, you have provided me the list. And I'm going to name this as uh, inti integers. And this is going to have uh, the elements that you provided me. So arrays dot as uh, list, and I'm going to add the elements that you provided. Let me uh, import the list from java.util and let me make this as integer. All right, so uh, integer, I-N-T-E-G-E-R. Okay, so this is integer. Uh, let me add the values that you provided which is uh, I'm just copying it from the chat box. So these are the uh, values. So it's not from reflect. I'm going to delete the array import and I'm going to mm, import the arrays from from java.util.arrays. So it's arrays, not array. Arrays. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, this is the integer. Now you want to mm, you want to do the square of all the numbers. Oh, let me do that. Yes, correct. Yeah, also integers. I'm going to extract stream and then I'm going to map to int. So map to int is a function which takes each element of your uh, input uh, array list and then it maps to a new element. So in our case, we are going to map each element, which is, for example, four uh, to four square, five to five square. So let's try to do that map to int. And uh, the input that it takes is uh, the transformational function, which is n into n. So this is going to be n square. Now I'm going to print each element after <laughs> squaring. So for that, uh, I can use for each. And just I'm going to pass uh, system dot out. And then using method reference, I'm going to call uh, print ln. OK, so this is going to be my um, solution for doing n square so n square let's try to see before moving further i have really interesting news for all of you and i bet you would be happy to know it if you are preparing for placements geeks for geeks is organizing a weekly recurring contest series in the month of november in association with law bubber which is designed to simulate the coding interview rounds for tech giants the contest consists of DSA questions asked in actual interviews of the targeted company. And before I forgot to mention it to you, these interview series are completely free of cost. Now, let me brief you a little about instructions and guidelines. Contests are scheduled every Sunday, 7 to 8.30 p.m. IST for different tech times. Hope you won't miss this chance to learn and practice for free at this contest. There are some instructions which are provided. Let me go through it. Each contest will target a specific company and will focus on the coding rounds that are part of its hiring process. 
you will be asked to solve three problems based on data structures and algorithms in one and a half hours. The questions provided in the contest series will be based on the latest interview experience posted on Geeks for Geeks by members of Geek family. You will have access to hints and time complexities. Just like a real interview, asking for hints may have a negative impact on your overall score. You can solve the questions in C++, Java or Python. Each submission will be tested on our critical test data. You get two geek beats for participating in the contest. And if you top the monthly reader board, you can get extra eight geek beats. You can use these geek beats to redeem GFG merchandise, swags, Amazon vouchers, and GFG coupon codes. After the test is over, Geeks for Geeks is going to live stream video editorials and taking doubts for each question immediately after the contest at Geeks for Geeks. If, uh, if, so, 4 is mapped now to 16, uh, 5 is mapped to 25, so on and so forth. Okay, so you got squares of all the numbers. Now you have to identify or filter the list in such a way that it should contain only those numbers which are greater than or equal to 100. Okay, so from the output, I need to uh, get those numbers which are greater than or equal to 100, which is 400 and 100. So these two numbers yes, uh, should be present in the filter. Yeah. Yes. So let me use uh, something called as filter. And filter is going to take uh, the filtering criteria, which is uh, n. n is greater than or equal to 100. So this is going to give me the filtered list. And now I'm going to print each element using for each. So similarly, I'm going to use this out uh, dot out. And using method reference, I'm going to use print ln. So this will give me, uh, this should give me 400 and 100 because of this filter method. Now let me run this program. As you can see, it has given me 400 and 100 as the output. Okay. Now can you try to find the average of these numbers? So it should be around 250, 400 plus 100 is 500 and then divided by two is 250. So it should be an average. Okay. And I want to, I need to find the average using um, the stream APIs only. Mm, yes, you have to use Java 8 features. Yeah. Okay. So there is something called as um, average. So the output of uh, the average is stored in uh, uh, optional double because the average always returns you the double. So whenever I pass uh, elements, it returns uh, the output or the result in the double format. For that, uh, there's a specific class known as optional double. I'll do this as opt. And then uh, after getting the average, I'm going to sys out um, average is, and then your actual average, which is uh, opt dot get average as double, get as double, sorry. So let me print this, run as, uh, as you mentioned, it is going to be 250, 400 plus 100 divided by two, because we have two elements in the list. Okay, I have provided you another list of numbers. So can you take that list and try to run this code? Uh, yes, so let me copy uh, the input that you provided in the list. Okay, so the new input looks uh, this way, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay, so let me run this. Yeah, so I got an exception uh, specifying no such element exception, no value present. So do you know what is this exception and why it is occurred? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, there is no element that is being qualified in the filter criteria. And we are trying to get average of that thing. So that is the reason this exception occurred. Let me try to uh, fix this. Um, what I could do is uh, optional. So in optional, there is a method known as is present, uh, opt dot uh, is present. So the, we are going to print the average only when um, the value is present in the in the optional average. Let me print this. Else, else we are going to say um, uh, sys out no qualifying element. So this is going to be no qualifying <coughs> element. 
So let me try to run this and this time it should uh, work. Yeah, so it says no qualifying element. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's it from this. Thank you. Do you have any question for me? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.